How's it going, everybody? My name is Parallax Abstraction, and welcome to a special episode of Retro Flashback, showcasing gaming's roots for a new generation. So, yeah, we're not taking a look at a game, we're taking a look at a web browser. What? All right, bear with me a minute. I got something cool here that I wanted to show you guys. So I got wind of this last weekend and I was like, this is just too neat. I gotta I gotta tell people about this. So I've been wanting to cover a certain type of game on this show for quite a while and I couldn't figure out a way to do it. And a way has come into being that may make that possible. So for all you youngins out there with your internets and your smartphones and your social networks, uh, well, if you are... An old timer like me, you probably remember bulletin board systems. So this was kind of the pre-internet way of doing internet-y things. So basically what you used to do is using your actual phone line, you would dial into one of these systems with your computer, which were and these were largely text-based systems, and you could do all kinds of stuff on there. There were discussion groups, kind of like forums, there were personal messages, kind of like email. Uh, you could download files, there was all kinds of neat stuff. And in addition to that, you could also play what were called door games, which were these uh, various different games of all different kinds. There were sci-fi games, there was uh, medieval fantasy games, there was all kinds of other stuff that system operators could put on their, on their systems, and they were there principally for entertainment purposes. Some of them were more advanced than others, some of them actually could send data to other BBSs so that you could have like inter-BBS warfare and all this other really cool stuff, and uh, I spent hours and hours on these things but bbs's don't really exist anymore for the most part because the internet came in and well rendered them obsolete but i found out that the amazing crew over at gamebanshee.com has actually put a bbs up with a whole bunch of famous door games in it and made it available for free for anybody to access and play so we're not going to be talking about a specific game this time around, but I wanted to point this thing out and give you guys a quick little tutorial on how you can connect to it yourself to try this out. Mega kudos to the Game Banshee guys for doing this. Um, this is a site that's been around for a long time, actually. They principally cover RPGs. I've used their guides and walkthroughs a bunch. They're a fantastic site. And, well, they put this together and put no small amount of effort into it, as you can see. There's uh, some pretty awesome production values here. And in addition to that, as you can see here, this is their little page announcing it. Uh, one of the guys from Game Banshee used to be a bulletin board system operator years ago. And he, he decided to put this together. And as you can see here, they've actually put together a whole bunch of interviews uh, with some of the guys who created uh, some of the games on their site. So... There's a, a whole bunch of interesting stuff here. I haven't read any of this yet, but I'm going to go through it all. I think it's going to be amazing. Like this guy here did Barren Realms and Solar Realms, which is a game I absolutely, I played a lot of those. Um, and yeah, this guy did Legend of the Red Dragon. So there's a whole bunch of stuff they put up to go along with this, which I think is really, really awesome. So you should check that out. Uh, it's just at GameBanshee.com slash BBS. So... All right, so if you want to get on this yourself and screw about, so how do you do that? Well, there's a couple of ways. Um, so if you just click on connect to the BBS right here, you're going to see up top. So this is that page here. So they've actually created a little uh, plug-in sort of in, your, in their browser. You don't have to download anything. This is just built into the web page that will connect to their, uh, their BBS right from within your browser. No setup required. Just click the button. Boom. There it is. Pretty neat, right? So this is okay, but as you can see, it's in kind of a small window, and unfortunately, at least as best as I can tell, there is no way to full screen this. Uh, even if I zoom my browser in, as you can see, it kind of maintains everything the same way. That kind of sucks. Not really, not really good, right? So you can use it this way if you just want the quick and dirty way. Eh, not my ideal thing. So I'm going to show you guys a better way. So they have the download for the utility I'm going to show you available on their site right here, but they don't do a great job of explaining how to set it up. So that's what I'm going to show you guys here. So the tool you are going to want, which you get from this hardcore retro looking website, is a tool called SyncTerm. So if you just go right here, syncterm.bbsdev.net, you can download this, um, which will allow you to connect to the Game Banshee system with ease. So uh, you can download this, as you can see, I'm on Windows 8, so as you can see, we've got that right here. Uh, they've got it for Linux, various versions of BSD, Solaris, OS X, if you must be a Mac user, Nokia N80 tablets, because sure, why not? 
Um, and yeah, you can just fetch it from here. So you just click on Win32, it'll download a zip file that has everything you need. It also says stable releases are available on SourceForge. I do not recommend getting it from here simply because um, on SourceForge, uh, you only get the basic executable. You do not get some of the other files that allow you to run sync term in full screen, which is less than ideal. So you want to fetch it from here. So you download that. You just simply extract that zip file to a folder of your choice. I'm assuming you know how to do that already. So uh, and yeah, when you run it, you get this. So as you can see here, this is running in kind of a tiny little window. So you may be like, uh, what? So yeah, this is about the same size as that thing was in the browser. Now you can use it this way if you want, but obviously if you want the proper experience, you would want to make this full screen, which at least on Windows you do by simply pressing Alt Enter. Boom, there it is. So just so you know as well, my recording software for some reason is stretching this out to, to be widescreen. It's actually not, it's four by three. So there's black bars on either side of this on my screen. I don't know why it's stretching it out for you, but you get the idea, it's still visible here, so. So when you start this thing up for the first time, this list on the left here called directory is gonna be blank. Uh, so you're gonna need to create an entry for the game Banshee uh, service in order to uh, to connect to it. So I'm going to show you that here. So you can use a mouse here, as you can see. You can actually click on all these menu options if you want. Uh, but this is a program that's really based around keyboard input. So I'm just going to put the the arrow off the screen here, and we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. So you see to add an item right there, it says you press the insert key. So we're going to do that. So it asks for a name. I already have uh, a game banshee entry, so we'll just call this game banshee BBS. It's gonna ask for your connection type. So most of these don't work. Like this program is crazy. Like you can even use an actual modem if you've got one hooked up, but the Game Banshee BBS doesn't support that. Their preferred method is R login. Telnet also works, but R login is best. So it's the top option. So just pick that. It's gonna ask what the address is. This is also simple. It's just Game Banshee BBS.com. And that's it, seriously. There's a whole bunch of other settings you can go in and change, but you don't need to. The defaults all work tickety-boo. So you get that in. When you're ready to go, you just hit enter on it. And here we are, back at the front page in all its full screen glory. So this is pretty cool. So this is the front, uh, this is the front screen here. Now, like I said, uh, BBSs for the most part didn't actually have graphics. Everything was done with text and what was called the ANSI spec. And ANSI basically allowed you to use a bunch of special codes to designate text to be displayed in color or to use all kinds of wacky characters to create shapes and graphics. See this thing up here? This is not a graphic. This is all actual text elements that some crazy amazing person put together. I was never good at making ANSI graphics back in the day, but there were some true artistry uh, like true artists who could do some crazy things. And that's what that is. And you're going to see some of that on here. It's pretty neat. So it's going to ask you to log in. So uh, if you don't have an account, you just type new. And no kidding, it's easier to make an account on this BBS than it is on most forums. It'll take you like 30 seconds. It asks a couple of questions and bim, bam, boom, you're done. But I've already got an account. So let's sign in. P A. S S W O R D. No, that's not my actual password. I'm not an idiot. Um, and there you go. There's another amazing piece of ANSI art. This is the Game Banshee logo. Like that is just baller. I friggin' love that. I think that's incredible. So you hit a key. So it's going to show you the last few logins. So you can see I'm on there. What the hell is Ulu? Is that an actual town in this province? I've never heard of that before. That's really something. So search all groups for new messages. There are discussion groups on this BBS, but they're not really using them. So I'm just going to say no. And here's the main menu. So this BBS is set up pretty much exclusively for door games. So there, there are some communication tools in here, but they're not really being utilized. There's no real files to download either. This is purely for door games. Um, there are some additional options on the side there. There is a chat thing. I don't actually even know how it works, but no oh, multi-node chat, private chat. So this is actually uh, something they have set up, it looks like. So BuckGB is the system operator. Basically, you used to be able to do this with BBSs. You could actually have a text chat with the system operator if they were near their system. So when you said you wanted to chat, it would basically beep their computer going, oi, somebody wants to talk to you. And if they were nearby, they could pick the chat up 
and uh, and talk with you. I used to do this all the time with a bunch of local sysops. It was amazing. Um, so as you can see, they've got some stuff here. You can see who's online. I'm the only guy right now. Womp womp. Um, there, you can get some statistics on your user accounts. You know, kind of neat stuff like that if you like. Um, kind of cool. Uh, you can send a message. If you want to send a message to me for fun, it's just, yeah, Parallax Abstraction. You saw the name there. There's also what's called the Time Minute Bank. Um, don't think it's relevant here. Uh, because BBS is used to be on actual phone lines and they didn't want people hang, uh, you know, holding the place up all day, uh, when you used to call into a BBS, you would usually have a certain amount of time both per call and per day that you could, uh, jo that you could join the system join up to the system with, and when you ran out of time, it would kick you off. Some BBS has allowed you to bank a certain amount of unused time uh, to give yourself more later. So they have that there, but I don't think it's relevant uh, for this thing. And then other than that, you just pick the game you want, and you can see there's quite a wide selection here. They say they may add more later if there's demand for it, um, but it's pretty neat. There's some games like Cannons and Catapults and Interstellar Annihilation and stuff that I really like that are not present here. But a lot of the stuff from my youth is. So we've got Baron Realms, we've got Solar Realms, we've got Trade Wars 2002, the two Legend of the Red Dragon games, uh, all kinds of neat stuff. And basically what you do is you just, this whole thing is keyboard driven, so you're not going to be using your mouse here at all. So you can see that everything has a designation, so you just pick what you want. So you want Legend of the Red Dragon, you hit D. And off she goes, she starts to load it up. And you're going to notice here that everything in here is text. There is a lot of using your imagination when you want to work with uh, BBS door games. This is not just not state-of-the-art graphics. This is barely graphics at all. And if you really want to know your gaming history, this is really a big piece of it. I spent hours and hours. On, wow. This was last updated in 2006. This dude was still working on this in 2006, and this is the first one. That's crazy. Um, but as you can see here, like this is an RPG. This is a medieval fantasy RPG, but it's pretty much text. And that's the thing. If uh, there's very most of these games don't have any sound. The sound that that they do have is just bleeps and bloops. And most of it is either text or ANSI graphics like this. Like you can see this in is, is an actual image made out of text. And there's, a, there's some neat stuff in this. Some of these games had some pretty neat writing in them and things like that. But really, it was a lot of it was just in your head. And that's what was great about this is these games gave you the framework to do some just to have some real fun in your imagination and, and visualize what you were playing. And it really worked your brain and also just allowed you to have some really neat fun. And uh, that's what I really love about this. Um, and as you can see here, there's some other stuff. So here's Trade Wars. Man, the hours I spent on Trade Wars. Oh, man. I used to have so much fun with this, uh, with this thing. So as you can see here... This is all basic stuff. Uh, like I said, I'm just switching around here. I'm not going to showcase any particular game today. I may do some episodes on it later, um, but I'm just sort of showing you guys how you get around here. Solar Realms was another one I played a lot of. Uh, I believe it was Baron Realms, which was the one that had inter-BBS connectivity and warfare. And uh, I was on a, a bulletin board that uh, played a lot of that, and we were actually kind of dominating the local scene of that game. We were really, really good at it. We had a we had a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, as you can see here, this is uh, the stuff we've got on here. I don't even know some of these. Like I don't know what the pit is. So you see here, this is actually asking, can your monitor display color? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there was a time when due to cost reasons, because computers used to be insanely expensive, some people had black and white monitors. And if you had one, you had to tell the game that you had a black and white monitor or you couldn't do it. So you see, this game actually has sound. Unfortunately, I believe the sound doesn't work over this uh, utility. So it said, I just played some music. Did you hear it? Sadly, no. Uh... What will you say whenever you're attacking someone? Huzzah! What will you say when you're defeated? Curses! These can be adjusted later. Okay. I don't even know what that means. So, there we go. So, it looks like no one's even played this yet. Welcome to the pit. And here you go, once again, 2004, this isn't very old. 
Original by James Berry, deceased. Oh. Visit bbsfiles.com for updates and other doors. Someone made a website for that. Oh, I got to jot that down. So anyway, you're getting the idea here of uh, a lot of the, the stuff that you've got here, that we've got here. And yeah, this is, don't get me wrong, this is some old school stuff. I can't believe how long some of these games were maintained. This is incredible. Uh, like, this is some old school stuff. Uh, you know, it's, it's, um, it, it is, it is dated uh, to be sure, but this is an important part of gaming history. I spent probably hundreds of hours playing some of these games, and and so did a lot of other people. And there is still a lot of fun to be had here, and there there is something to be said for playing a game that allows you to play along in your mind rather than just have rather than one that just sort of lays everything out for you and just says, hey, this is what we you know. This is the this is the game, and we're gonna we're gonna shove everything in your face and leave no room for ambiguity. This allows you to sort of tell your own story, and I think it's really cool. So, yeah, that's the basics of the game Banshee BBS. Like I said, this is free for everybody. So if you're curious about this stuff and want to know more, or if you're an old timer like me who remembers door games fondly and wants to play some just to for a little bit of nostalgia, this is free, man. So just go to, uh, yeah, GameBanshee.com slash BBS and get all the info you need. And so when you're done, you just say log off, disconnected, and boom. You're back at the menu, take it out of full screen, and away you go. So yeah, GameBanshee.com slash BBS. Mega props to these guys for putting this uh, together. I just love this. I can't wait to read these interviews. And uh, this is an amazing thing. So... Please check it out uh, if you think it's something that would interest you. I might cover some of these games on future retro flashbacks. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I'm looking forward to just messing around with this, to be honest with you. So, yeah. So that's that. Um, thank you guys for watching and indulging me in this little sort of public service announcement. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Uh, it helps me out a great deal. And, well, I'll be back in the not-too-distant future, and we'll, we'll be showing an actual game in that one. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys.